Yo, what's up guys? So you guys have been asking me for a little bit now to get some games in with Aqua or Gimmick. So here we are today. We're playing with Aqua. Some twos games. Uh, he has his name changed right now. I think he's in like a K-pop phase. So he has his name in Korean, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be Aqua who we're playing with. And hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing uh, some of the first times uh, I'm recording a video with the team. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're going to game here. Got fast, who's uh, usually very high up. Lively, who I actually don't recognize, but fast is usually pretty high up in the top hundred. So, so what do you want here? Let's get a block. I can just leave now. My main goal there is to stop the the air dribble across the field. I mean, Aqua doing Aqua things. I've scribbed so many times with them. I'm not really. That surprised that he just first touch of the game turns into a double tap. Especially twos. Twos gives you like a lot more space. Those things are always gonna be more viable in a 2v2 environment. Couldn't quite reach the shot, so I went for I kinda touch middle. Good read from us. And I forced the second touch, which is good enough. Should be fine. Just trying to stay in front of the ball. That's all I have to do there. If you ever awkward, just remember, stay in front of the ball. Try to um, block off as many angles as possible. That's really all you have to do on defense. I should have went. I was thinking a little bit too much about potentially cutting off Aqua there. Didn't want to. Fast is just full speeding everything. His name checks out. I wanted to get a fast back to Aqua that was shootable, but actually pretty difficult to time that soft enough where you can reach it. I'm gonna go for the back boost. I'll learn for a little bit here. Just gonna go now. Cut him out. Nice. Good time on the challenge. He had a lot of options, a lot of different things he could do, and if I waited an extra second to give him a little bit more time to work with the bounce, he could have picked either a left or right shot, which is the last thing you want to let them do. Over. I just wait. Good awareness to realize that's over and not panic jump. That's actually a big mistake people make. Not thinking about that stuff. I uh, shouldn't be doing this. But I went for it anyway. Went for the Psycho. It was gonna be too slow, but I wanted it to be like a fast Aqua. And he hit here is good. Aqua could skim this. Try it. I'll just go to cut it out. Actually, not a bad touch from Lively, because Aqua would have had a free, free play there. And you don't really want to let, let him have a free play like that. Especially him. When he has control in the corner and he has control on the wall, it's pretty deadly almost every time. If you want to shut that down if you're the other team. That's how it goes for any mechanical player. Anyone that's really comfortable on the wall, in the air. Gotta just put a hand up as quick as you can. Fast is one of those players. Shut him down pretty well this game. But yeah, that's a common theme now. Everybody's pretty good in that aspect. The challenges happen pretty quick. Ah. Uh, yeah, Fast, he doesn't really care to do fake challenge, I've noticed. It's always just full speed. Trying to play that into a way that I can get the boost and make a dangerous play, but I should have just been playing to clear the danger. Didn't really trust him. Decided it was worth playing to miss. It might be really awkward for Aqua. I hate those situations where it looks like the bump can come through and then it doesn't. Ah, my vehicle. I save. Did good the challenge again, like. Exactly what I was talking about. Force to play, but same thing here. I'm gonna want to force this for Aqua. 
We should be able to win that. Now I have to win this. Just a matter of trusting each other. Taking turns, forcing the ball high for each other like that. Blocking the angles, and then we have an opportunity, but I think he's gonna make it back. I'm gonna go for Aqua again here. Very hard to get those challenges right every time. Again, it bumps him off the ball. That's enough. It should just be enough. I'm gonna go for Aqua again here. Something I've always done. Even on energy, I make like Justin and Garrett's lives way easier just trying to go force the air dribble. Force their dribble to be awkward and they get a free ball after the fact, right? Much easier to deal with that free ball than if we all just wait. The aqua go here. Oh, you're so far. For some reason, I thought I thought I heard him coming so much closer. Nice. Stay left here. Gonna be a goal. Yeah, I'm left just in case. Get a good angle there. Give him a few options and also make the defender worry about that option of the pass, right? Faking, all right. That pass Aqua. I'm gonna play this back if I can. It's a better play. You guys gonna have to chase it down now. I'll be back to help Aqua. Just go back wall. If he absolutely slots this, I should be here. Yeah. Everything's blocked there. The ground blocks pretty well. and then Anything back wall as well, we should have covered. But yeah, good first game there. Pretty solid stuff. And good examples of things I was talking about ended up coming up there. Like, uh, really good shot from Aqua. I'll let it play again if you guys end up seeing it. But uh, good examples of just, like, trying to shut down the air dribbles quickly. And fast as a very good player, creating those opportunities. But yeah. Pretty solid stuff. We'll head into the answering the top comment, top question of the day. Make sure you guys leave your questions down below and um, I'll be sure to answer the top comment, whatever is most liked in the, ne the next video, the middle of next video between game one and game two. Also, if you guys enjoy the content, please make sure to leave a like because it does help the video out a lot. And if you're not subscribed already, go look down below and press that subscribe button. But yeah, appreciate you guys. All right, for the question of today's video, Mike Jones 4322 asked um, an actual singular question because last video there was three questions as a top comment. Who would you want to team with the most that you've never gotten a chance to retired or current player? For me, it's a tough question. It's actually really tough. I think players that I've chosen to team with are players that I've, uh, you know, had a lot of respect for and I think they're great people, great players. I don't know too much about him uh, as a as an individual, like as a person, but I know the way he plays really does stand out to me. And the person I'm talking about is Monkey Moon. I think he's uh, one of the most well-rounded, if not the most well-rounded player in uh, in pro Rocket League three v three, and that's what I try to strive to to be like throughout my entire career is to be that well-rounded player, right? So seeing someone like him that doesn't really overuse mechanics at all and just be able to dominate the field is a really cool thing coming from someone that started as someone that was spamming uh you know really difficult mechanical shots and tried to mold myself into a well-rounded player um, i take inspiration from players like monkey moon so yeah probably someone like him i think i learned a lot from playing with him positionally and uh stuff like that outside of him though i think i'm uh i'm pretty good on everybody else that i've teamed with i think there's no one else that i've i've left out but yeah that's it uh, for today's question and answer segment. Hope you guys leave a like down below if you guys are enjoying the video and see you guys in the next game. All right, we got fast again. So two sweaty games here. Just gonna have to uh, try to shut them down early. Better just go again here. Trying to do a demo now. If I can bump last, Aqua is a good opportunity. Try to control this back to my corner. Always trying to look for where the space is. Might be a double opportunity. Nice. Good job from Aqua. There it is again. It's automatic. 
you get to get enough pass with some space, it's gonna be a goal. Need boost, so he wants it back left. I can't really do it though. He did a really good counter. Put a bomb for him. He's gonna jump into the net. That's fine. Did no boost. So I gotta cover for for a bit. I'm gonna get bombs probably. Good save. How to force this touch here. Nice, he just went for a big clear. It's a good play. Really good shot. Nice. Pass from Aqua. Good pressure, and it's a smart clear to make as well, because it forces the defender to jump. Hit it left or right, which means it'll come middle to some extent. I pass to Aqua. I'm gonna go for a solo. I played around one here. Couldn't quite. If I can play this back, it's better than letting him hit it away. Can't really double. Oh, I can. Wow. He pinched it into me. I don't think I could have reached it. Wow. Big pinch. It's gonna fake challenge. It's gonna have it first, and I force him to go middle with him knowing that I'm on the wall, which brings it to Aqua. Usually what happens as well, if you're just covering certain certain part of space, They're gonna try to hit it around you, right? And when they do that, you usually have an advantage. So Aqua, when someone's covering the right wall, I try to cover middle. That's usually where their brain ends up going, and that worked out. <laughs> I was gonna hit it off the wall around him into a follow-up trap, but I'll take it. I like driving into that ball instead of flipping. It just lets me recover quicker if they happen to read my play. Tough 1v1, really good save. Fast as the plate is back. I'll try to cover this option. Aqua's on the wall. So I'm gonna cover middle, like I was saying. And usually, I should force him to come middle. But he did a good job. Yeah, I got a bump. Sorry. Did force him there, but he got a really good first touch to allow him to get an air dribble bump. And air dribble bumps are unsavable. They get to the position to set it up. If it's done perfectly, once it's at a certain point, there is no saving anymore. Let's play it over him. That's for the back wall touch. I missed a boost. Not the biggest deal. I'm gonna stall for Aqua here. I'm gonna go for a touch. It was up the wall to myself. Not bad situation. I'm gonna go straight back using this pad line. Should be like 60-ish boost. I can help him out. Pick this. Gonna hit a high over me. Should be okay. Again, the only thing that can go wrong there is just a, a miss on the back wall, which is rare from, from Aqua. I'll force the flick here. If he doesn't flick, I'll just challenge. I really wanted to get a good pinch on that, like really fast, but it's fine. Still doing well. Good pressure. Not gonna be close enough. He did a good job. I'll try to play it to the wall. Around them, get this boost. Over him. Should be a goal. Actually, off a little far. It's fine though. I'll just cut. Force him to hit it away. Putting pressure on him. Just always trying to force them into your teammate's space. A good way of thinking, especially in threes. Good challenge. Last for a while there. Gotta take a risk. Good challenge again. Notice how he just doesn't have a lot of free time. The one time he had free, t free time, he ended up getting a gold of it. And this could be bad, because we have no idea about the challenge. Aqua did a great job. I just got bumped off of it. Trying to get a mid touch then. Nice, I have no idea how he scored. It had to have been a 50-50. It's a good touch mid. It had to have been a 50 of some sort. Yeah, it was kind of like, he just beat him, but they're both trying to play the 50. Really good block. Nice shot. Wow, well done. Top bins. 
Nice. All right, good games today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like down below. Please definitely helps out the video a lot. And make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the support as always. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.